everyone i hope you all are doing great welcome back to our channel agla same schools today in this video i will be covering chapter 19 of class 5 of environmental studies that is a seed tells a farmer's story so let's discuss question and answers now turn to page number 175 tell question number 1 says are rotis made in your home from which grain are they made answer is Yes, rotis are made in my home. They are usually made from wheat and sometimes from maize. Now, question number 2 says, have you eaten roti made from bajra and jowar? Did you like this? Answer is, yes, I have eaten roti made from bajra and jowar. They were very tasty. Now, find out and write. Question number 1 says, in your house, what is done to protect grains and pulses from insects? Answer is My mother keeps grains and pulses in airtight containers. Sometimes she dries them in a the sun. For the question number 2 says, which are the different festivals related to farming celebrated in different seasons? Find out more about any one such festival and write in your notebook. The name of the festival in which season is celebrated in which state of India? What special food are made? Is it celebrated only at home with the family? or together with many people answer is there are many festivals related to farming for example lori holi baisakhi etc let us take an example of lori lori is celebrated in the winter season on 13 january in punjab it is celebrated as poi girl in tamil nadu it is celebrated as yellow bela in karnataka different special dishes are made in different states See some seeds and jaggery are common almost all states. In some states it is celebrated with many people like in Punjab. In some state it is celebrated in family only. Kite flying is done in Gujarat on this day. Now question number 3 says talk to your elders in your family and find out if there was some special foods cooked earlier that are not cooked anymore. Answer is My mother shared with me that earlier laddus of sesame seeds and beaten rice were made at home. Now we just buy gajak from the market. For the question number 4 says find out about the crops, cereals, vegetables, pulses that are grown in your area of those is there anything that is famous across the country? Answer is Many crops like wheat, maize, rice, potatoes, mangoes, lychee etc are grown in my area. Of these, lychee is famous across the country. Now turn to page number 177. Write. Question number 1 says, what kind of progress would you like to see in your area? Answer is first, better roads, second, all around cleanliness with no overflowing drain, third, a good public transport system, fourth, a big park and playground where children can play and other can do some recreation now turn to page number 178 discuss and think question number 1 says what can happen to hasmuk's farm after some years answer is his farm will lose fertility after some years because he is using chemical fertilizers he is in danger of falling into a debt trap as he has taken loans to buy tractor seeds and fertilizers in future he may not be able to properly work on his farm for the question number 2 says dhamji bai's son hasmuk chose to become a farmer like his father hasmuk's son paresh is not a farmer but a truck driver why would he have done so answer is paresh could see that his father was running into losses farming had become a capital intensive activity with little profit hence Paresh would have decided to switch to new occupation. For the question number three says the seeds were not sure that what Hasmuk was talking about was really progress. What do you feel? Answer is I think the seeds were correct in their thinking. New method of agriculture tend to overexploit the soil and other resources. This leads to loss of fertility of soil, which may result in the land becoming barren. Too much irrigation depletes the groundwater and thus leaves little water for future. A machine can do the work of many people which leaves many people jobless. Apparently, it looks like progress but it is not the real progress. Now, turn to page number 181. 
Let's discuss what we have learnt. Question number one says, there have been many changes over time in our food. What can this mean? Use the seed story and what do you know from your elders to explain? Answer is, there have been many changes in our food. Earlier, people used to eat chapati of different kinds of grains, but now wheat is the main ingredient of chapati. My mother says that when she was a child, her father used to buy wheat grains. The wheat grains were washed and dried in the sun. Then it was taken to a chakki to make flour. Now we buy packed atta or we can say flour. And I have seen wheat grains in pictures only. Most of the children of my age would not recognize a particular grain. For example, I was surprised when I learned how the rice grain looked with a cover on it. Many of us now use instant food instead of a traditional food. I think people will forget how to cook some of the traditional dishes. For the question number two says, what would happen if all the farmers were to use only one kind of seed and grow only one kind of crop? Answer is, it will be scary situation. We cannot survive by eating just one kind of crop. We need dal and sabji along with rice. We cannot eat a diet which contains only rice or only chapati. We need many other foods to satisfy our taste or also our nutritional needs. So guys, I have covered all the questions of this chapter in this video. I hope you like this video. And if you have any query or any doubt related to any of the questions discussed, please put your query in the comment section below. For more such NCRT solutions, keep watching and do not forget to subscribe our channel Aglissim Schools. And do not forget to wear a mask and take good care of your health. Oh.